proof that involving the partial derivative. Let's just look at some simple examples. So you are given a function u, so you have to show that the x del u del x plus y del u del y is actually equal to 4 u. So the thing that you have to do is first of all find the first order of partial derivative. Okay, so we begin with del u del x first. So go for the del u del x. It means that you want to differentiate with respect to x. Okay, so let's just differentiate it. Okay, this one if you differentiate. With respect to x means that you focus on x. This is basically give you 8x cubed. And you have x squared, so you differentiate x squared, so you have 2x. 2x multiply with a constant 2y squared, basically give you 4xy squared. And this is not x, this is just y, so it means that this is a constant, you differentiate constant, you have 0. Now we move to the second, uh, the second one that is del u del y. So the del u del y is actually differentiate with respect to y. So we focus on y only. So this is not y, this is a constant, you differentiate constant, you have 0. And you have a y square here, so you differentiate y square, you have 2y multiplied with 2x square, so basically give you 4x square y. And this one, if you differentiate, you will have 12y cubed. So once you obtain the answer of the first order partial derivative, so you have to take uh, the equations okay you have to take the left hand side of this equation and you do the substitution let's take the left hand side on here to focus on the left hand side so the left hand side is x del u del x plus y del u del y and take the result of the first order partial derivative and substitute okay you can see that i already substitute so this is the del u del x that i obtained just now to so substitute and this is the del u del y that i obtained okay so i just substitute and after you have substitute Okay, so just do the expand. So we expand it. So this expand, you have 8x power 4. Expand this one, you have uh, 4x square y square. Expand this one, it will give you 4x square y square. And expand this one more, you have 12y power 4. Okay, and you can see that basically I have same terms here. So both of them are x square, y square, so you can add them together. So you can add them together. So basically, give you eight x square, y square. But if you look at this result, okay, that this is a result of substitution, and we compare to whatever they want you to show, okay, they want you to show that the result is supposed to be for you. We only have this, and you need to show for you. So first of all, you should think of, uh, we must have a four in front of it. In front of this okay so it means that you have to factor out 4 from this uh, this line so you just factor out 4 from this line if you factor out 4 from here so you basically have 2x power 4 factor out 4 from here you have 2x square y square factor out 4 from here so you have 3y uh, power 4 okay so and then we already have the 4 and let's just see this one this is basically our U. This is basically our u. This is the exactly same thing as our u. So we can substitute this one with our u. So let's just substitute. So you will have the answer of for u. That is the thing they ask us to do. Okay, that is the thing they ask us to show. Okay, which is the result of the right hand side. So this is the proof for example one. In example 2, so you are given a function v, so you need to show that this one is basically equal to 0. Okay, the same thing. So the first step that is you should find the first order of partial derivative. So we go for the del v del x first. So go for the del v del x. Okay, before you find the del v del x, make sure that it is in the form that is easy for you to do the differentiation. So this one I can change to index form. So I will have a bracket minus 1. So if I look for the del v del x, so I have to do the chain rule. So okay, I have a bracket minus 1. I have a bracket minus 1. I pull the minus 1 so in front. And the bracket, I have to minus 1 again. So that's why I have minus 2. Copy back whatever that is inside the brackets. So write it here. And then focus on the equation inside the bracket. So if you differentiate this one, this is actually 6x. So you have 6x here. And this is actually a constant. You differentiate constant, you have 0. So simplify. This is what we get for del v, del x. And we repeat the same process for del v, del y. So for del v, del y, so 
with a focus on here. So again, so you have the bracket minus 1. So you pull the minus 1 to in front. So you have a minus bracket here. And this power, so you have the power. So you have the minus 1 again. So that's why you have minus 2 here. And whatever that is inside the bracket, you have to rewrite back. Okay. And then uh, for inside the bracket, so you have to do the differentiation. So, so this one, because we have differentiate with respect to y, so this is actually a constant. So you have a 0. So if you differentiate this one, this is give you 8y. So you have 8y here. Simplify, so this is answer for del v del y. And then let's just look at the left hand side of this equation. So this is the left hand side of this equation. So let's just do the substitution. So we're going to substitute our result of uh, first order partial derivative into here. So this is the del v del x that I obtained just now. So I just substitute. And this is the del v del y that I obtained just now. So substitute in here. And then we expand. We expand it. Okay, so if we expand it, this is actually negative 4y multiplied with negative 6 x is give you 24xy. So this one, if you expand it, this give you a negative 24xy. So because they are having the same denominator, so basically you can focus on the numerator. So 24xy minus 24xy is basically give you 0. So we have an answer of 0. That is basically what they ask you to show. Okay, You're supposed to show that after you have substitute, the answer must be 0. So this is a proof for example 2.